In this video, I'll show you how to add a order node to each product in your WooCommerce store. I'll also show you how to exclude this order node on specific products. So in the event you want to offer extra personalization option to your customers, I'll show you how to achieve that and much more. Okay, so for example, here on this particular product, we're allowing customers to add a custom message, right? And in the back end, if we want, we can limit the number of characters that a customer can um, enter, right? So it's totally up to you and we can even charge them extra as well if they choose to add a custom message okay so this video will be based on this article here and throughout this article i've mentioned two methods so the one we'll be covering is this first method where we'll be adding this order note via a plugin right I've also created a separate video where I show you how to achieve a similar thing using code. I'll leave a notification on the screen now to that particular video. The issue with that video is there's a lot of you that was um, having difficulties um, excluding the order note from a particular product. So again, this is great if you've got some coding experience or even if you've got a developer on your team, then you can use this custom code method. However, with this plugin method, we'll be able to easily add a custom note to specific products on our WooCommerce store. So if you want to add a similar setup to your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovop.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Navigate over to AOVOP and then we'll navigate over to product add-ons. Okay, and then from here, we can create numerous different custom fields and then we can choose which product we want to apply it to okay so here's our order note which i've already created so i'm going to disable this one and now i'll show you how to create one from scratch so we'll just click create option set okay we'll give this a name so we'll just say product note it's just for internal purposes okay and now we get to choose which product we want to apply this particular custom field to okay so we can apply it to all products or we can choose a specific product or category right or we can choose a specific product type okay so let's say for example that we only wanted it to display for our custom hoodie product in this case we'll go ahead and search for that product so i'm just going to search for custom and it's this product here Okay, and then we can ignore the categories, right? So if you wanted it to show to all products in a specific categories, then here you just select the category. And let's say, for example, if you chose a category and you wanted to exclude certain products within that category, you can enable this exclude option. Same for if you want to show it to all products and then exclude specific products, just enable this option here. And we get to choose which user we want this to apply to. So we can set it to all users, guest users, which are users logged out of your site, logged in users, or users with a specific user role. We'll just leave it to all users. And then we'll go ahead and add a new option. We'll create a text field, so text area. And then we'll just give this a name. So we'll say product note. Okay, and then here's our text area field. So we'll add a label here. So we'll say something like, Okay, we can add a placeholder here as well. We can add tooltip and description. Doesn't make sense to add an image in this case. We can also choose to add a extra charge if a customer choose to enter in a message, right? So in this case, it's set to the price doesn't change. We can increase the price, we can decrease the price, it's up to you. We can also limit the number of characters that the customer can write, right? So we can set a minimum amount of characters and a maximum amount. Now disable this and then let's just hit save. We can customize the design and so on, but we'll just ignore that for now. Or you can even add a, a conditional rule. So I'll show you in a second how we'd go ahead and add a conditional rule. But let's save changes. Okay, and now when we refresh this page, we'll see we'll still see this custom message since I've just created it, right? When we refresh it, we can see the option to add a custom message here. Let's go ahead and check out a different product and see if this custom message shows. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, here you can see there's no custom message, right? So we can specify where we want to show this custom field. So let's head back over to our custom hoodie product and I'll show you how we can tailor it a bit more, right? Okay, so now we'll add a conditional field. We'll give the user the option to choose whether they want to add a custom message or not. And then we'll probably add an extra charge if they choose yes i'll show you how we can do that so let's head back over to our product add-on okay so let's 
add a new field and this time we'll choose a we can choose either a checkbox field so we can say something like do you want to customize this product or do you want to add a personal message and I can tick yes and if they tick yes then we'll show the custom field or we can add a radio button so again we can ask the same question do you want to add a custom message which you choose is totally up to you I'm just going to select a checkbox here and then for the title um, so we'll just say personalization okay and then for the checkbox we can add our message here and say okay so here it says do you want to add a custom message we will change the price if they choose to add a personal message so this will be an extra charge right we can say it's an extra 15 dollars on top of the product price then we'll just hit save okay so let's refresh this product so here we can see our checkbox here we want to change the order of this so we want to show this one first and then as i said we want to add a conditional logic to only show this um, input field they tick this option so let's head back over here let's move this up and then for our personalized message area we're going to edit this we'll navigate over to conditional logic we'll enable this option Okay, so we'll select show, meaning we'll only show this text area if these specific rule matches, right? And then here we'll say if uh, if the customer takes this option and it's selected, right? And then we'll just hit save. So now let's refresh this page. Okay, so this is how it looks currently. So if they want to add a custom message, they can tick this option and we can see it's a extra $15 charge. The charge has been applied and then here they can enter in their personalized message, right? We can add it to cart as well and this message will show up in the back end. So let's just quickly check out. Okay, so our order's been processed and here we can just see our custom message here. So let's head back over to our dashboard now. Let's navigate over to WooCommerce and then orders. And this is the order that we've just created. Okay, so we can see the customer's custom message here. And of course you can add additional fields as well. For example, we can add a text input area, swatch selection, file upload. We can add a formula as well. So we can create complex calculations, but we'll leave it here for now. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.